Hello everyone, this is Darwell20, and welcome to episode 89 of MC Eternal, uh, where today I've got what I would call a relatively, but not obscenely, large number of Diamond Tier 5 seeds. I kind of, like, stepped away from my desk for maybe an hour or two, uh, and left the game running by mistake, and then I came back and I'm like, oh, we have a lot of these. Ah. So we've got, you know, a good stack and a quarter-ish, stack and a third of uh, Tier 5 Diamond Seeds, Growth, Gain, and Strength, 10, 10, 10. Uh, long story short, yeah, it's time. It's time to do the seeds thing. So let's go put these over here. So I'm going to make sure that we have some growth doohickeys. Let's get 14 of them. I'm going to plant two sets of these seeds. Um, and we should have a diamond hoe here ready to go, and let's get our building gadget out. There you are. Let's see that you are... Let's still go culture one set. Did I request seven of the wrong thing? I might have. It's the kind of thing Dyer would do. Thinking about it, taking it sweet time, but getting there. There you go. Sweet. And dirt and dirt. And ho and ho. And crop and crop. And seed and seed and go. So momentarily they should insta-grow, like we're used to, right? I'm assuming that diamond seeds don't have any different growth traits. And then we can add the diamond essence here. And while we're at it, let's grab any diamond essence we have in the AE system. No sense leaving that sitting in there. Uh, I'm going to make you the green, right? So we're going to do this guy. Turns into diamonds, apply. And then you're going to get a new item stack filter to green. And that should be groovy. And then you should be making diamonds. Sweet. Um, and then over here, what's our diamonds situation that we got going on? Nice. Nice. That's what's up. So we've actually got a healthy amount of diamonds cooking. 133 sitting there from I don't remember where. Uh, but now we're at 134, and now we're at 136, and you get the point. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it, he said. I love it. Let's give you a diamond and a void upgrade. Remember, always void upgrade stuff. Otherwise, you're just going to eventually, over time, fill up your AE system with things that you don't want tons of, right? Like, we have a ton of redstone, 611,000 redstone. That's a lot of redstone. Because, uh, I don't know that we have void upgrades in this guy. Oh, right, because uh, redstone overflows into this. That's right. I always forget. Redstone overflows into this that then void upgrades, right? So, why are you flickering, Chief? Oh, because you're import busing still. Haha. <laughs> yeah, we don't want to leave that on. How many stacks should be in here? <laughs> We've got 64,000 stacks of redstone. Hang on a second. Am I reading that correctly? I might be. So, we've got 65,000 blocks of redstone 65,000 blocks of redstone okay cool yeah no we're cool we're cool 64,970 I guess that's how many we have okay yep I'm gonna call that a lot of redstone <laughs> it's a little it's a 64,000 blocks of redstone uh yeah yeah that's a lot. 606,000 redstone dust. And this is fine. Right? Don't forget, anything that you've automated should be voiding. That's an important note. Right? Like, this stuff, important note. Void the extra grains of infinity, right? Anything that you have a ton of should, in theory, be voiding. Right? Do we have enough iron? Or are we, like, you know... I mean, we have 16... You're also not voiding. How come I don't have void upgrades on everything I should? I don't know. Because... Because I don't listen to myself, I guess. So we've got about 2,000 blocks. I mean, in fairness, that's right, because iron's doing the other thing. Iron is also going over to here as a backup. Right, I forgot. That's a thing. Wow, we have 130 blocks of that, don't we? 
That's a lot. Yep, that's a lot. So no, I, I am not that much of a derp. I was correct in not voiding you. I was correct in not voiding you. 16,000 iron? I hope that's enough. At least for now. Right? And any excess iron should be making its way back here. Right? Because you're a higher priority than this. Right? Your priority is 9. Your priority is 10. Right. Yeah, so this is a higher priority than this one. So iron should not really be going into here, in theory. Nor should redstone. It should all be going into the drawer system first. Not here. Cool. Every now and then you set something up like weeks ago, and then you forget about it, and you're like, now what? How did this work again? I forget. It's all good, though. So hey, we've got automated diamonds, which is actually pretty cool. Uh, I think today I'd like to upgrade my power storage, right? The ultimate energy cube. It's time to get better. Uh, and I'm thinking induction is the way to go, right? Because we got a lot of induction doohickeys, right? So if we looked up how to do mechanism induction matrix, uh, which I'm doing in a wiki on my other monitor that you can't see, haha. Uh -huh. uh, basically, it's a rectangular prism. Uh, it needs to be smaller than 18 by 18 by 18, from what we understand, right? All edges of the block must be made out of induction casing, right? I'm gonna like 100 or of that, because that's relatively not hard to make. And uh, you know what I wouldn't mind also doing from mechanism? I would like to speed up some of my craftings down here, right? Because you guys are all cool and stuff, but you're basic factories, right? I wouldn't mind getting some upgrades going on. So maybe we could teach you how to make tier upgrades, right? Like, I want you to know how to make all this. So tier one, tier two, elite tier, and then ultimate tier. That's a thing, right? Hopefully. And then what we can do is upgrade some of our factories because we're about to kick off some really large complex crafts, right? With lots and lots of resources going into them. So what I'd love is to make sure that, you know, we, we, we can do that uh, in, in a rapid manner, right? <clears throat> so, you know what, let's do this. Mechanism tier, tier upgrade, tier installer is what they're called, my bad. Let's just get like 10 of each. Right? That shouldn't be too bad. And then we're ready to upgrade any mechanism tiers. Ultimate control circuits. We don't know how to make those? Dire, please. I guess I ain't needed them yet. But now we do. Cool. And all you guys are just going to be ready to do the thing, right? So any any work we need to do, we can speed it up, right? So like this thing, for example, nice and slow. Um, just taking sweet time. But if we upgraded this dude with a tier installer, which, you know, in theory, we should be able to do relatively soonish. Maybe I should take accelerate you. Wowzers. I guess he's making all the ultimates first, which stinks because I can't upgrade him. <laughs> hey, there we go. Sweet. Now, just in time for him to be done. Right? Look at that. Cool. Right? Sweet. Can I not make the ultimate tier installers? Is that a thing that doesn't exist, I guess? I always remember that there's like something about the ultimate tier. Like, I don't know if it's disabled by default or what the deal is, right? Um, but yeah, now we're talking. Seven stacks at a time is what we can operate on, which is pretty stinking cool, right? Um, not too shabby. 
And then you guys are going to refill your redstoney dudes and everybody's happy. So what do you use the ultimate installers for? I mean, I assume that you, like, in theory, this should be able to upgrade this. Is that something that's, like, disabled in the configs by default? I don't even know. That's where, uh, that's where my knowledge of this mod kind of ends. Now, the Osmium Compressor. Should we upgrade this dude, too? I feel like we should. All right? Boop, boop. Boop. It's pretty cool, right? Nice. Nice. Okay. So now you're doing your thing to keep everything in stock like you should, right? In theory, yes. Right? So you're... Let's make you keep, like, 16 of you in there at a time, right? And you have 16. All right, you want to have... How about, how, about, how about eight of each at a time? I like that idea. Right? Because at this point, I'm ready to have a few extras going on, right? That'll speed up the rate at which it keeps things in stock. So if we cop, keep an eye on this guy, see how he's putting a lot more in there all at once? It's going gonna, it's gonna to keep more in stock. And it's going to throw eight in there at a time rather than one in there at a time. And that way, if we use a bunch of what's stored in here, it'll, uh, it, it'll just go, it'll, it'll resume faster, right? It'll, it'll make things a little bit more quickly. See how much, ah, oh, it's so beautiful. How much RF tick are we using? Probably a lot would be my guess. Yeah, 12,000-ish RF a tick. <laughs> Is my battery over here having a problem yet? Not yet, actually. In fairness, he's doing pretty good. I guess these guys are just pumping out power like nobody's business and everybody's okay with it. All right, not too shabby. Not too shabby. See? Yeah, now it's definitely keeping eight of them in stock at a time. And then if we burn through them, it'll just more quickly fill back up. Right? Especially now because we're not hurting for diamonds, we're not hurting for obsidian, uh, we're not hurting for any of these resources that in the past we were a little bit more shaky on, right? Um, so he's probably getting turned into his obsidian stuff around here somewhere. Nice. Yep, there he goes. Refined obsidian, and then he's going to be compressed somewhere. Nice. All right, cool. So now that that's ready, let's look at induction smelter. All right, so let's look at uh, what we want to set up for the induction doohickeys, right? So for this, we need to create a multi-block, and I kind of don't forget certain aspects of how this works. So there's one other thing we forgot to take a look at, and that is induction ports. We need one of these. Let me, let me get these added real quick. Okay, so a couple induction ports should be all we need here. Let's get two ultimate induction coils. What are we short on here? Lithium dust. Okay. Uh, and two ultimate induction providers. What would be short on here? Also lithium dust. Sweet. Now, why do you need lithium? That's not standard in a thing. What do you need that's lithium? Why do you need lithium? Explain. Where does lithium come into play? I don't understand why you think you need lithium. You also think you need lithium. You also think you need lithium. You also think you need lithium dust. Where is lithium dust coming into the play here? Explain, explain lithium dust. Ah, yeah, you do need lithium dust. Would you look at that? Ha, <laughs> okay. I didn't know, I didn't know mechanism had lithium dust. Today I learned. Should we look into making that? Okay. Uh, so that is a chemical crystallizer of lithium. And uh, you could also use lithium ore, by the way, which do we have? Is that a seed? We do have lithium ingots. There are lithium seeds, I'm just saying. Uh, but I'm assuming that's nuclear crafts lithium, which is fine, which is fine. I just, I want to see how to make it in mechanism, right? Could we grow this into seeds? Yes. Uh, is that necessarily the most fun way to do it? No, not necessarily. Uh, pulverizer, tectonic initiator. So basically all the things lithium, the best way or the, the mechanism way of going about it is lithium chemical crystallizer makes dust. Uh, lithium, isn't this the stuff? Liquid lithium. Doesn't this come from, yes, thermal evaporation from brine. So basically for this stuff, we need two thermal evaporation controllers. One that turns water into brine and one that turns brine into liquid lithium and then the liquid lithium uh, is turned into lithium, and that is crystallized into lithium dust. Hmm. You could also get it, 
oh, that turns into Tritium and a Solar Neutron Activator, right? Which which we might want to do if we want to play with uh, DT Fuel, which then uh, and then yeah, and then you can make something something nuclear fusion mechanism. -y. So let's try the the solar evaporation plant method, just because, right? So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get eight of these bad boys. We need solar panels. I forgot that. Yeah. Right. Uh, and and the reason we want to do this, I'm gonna do it the other way. Right. So if we kick those off, that should be a nice quick craft, right? And a whole bunch of things happening. While that's happening, let's get our evaporation plant stuff. So I'm gonna want two evaporation controllers. I'm gonna want four thermal evaporation valves. Uh, and what the hey, let's get like 100 or 200 ish thermal evaporation blocks. Cause honestly, that's really just iron and copper. And I feel like we could spare some. As a reminder, we have 16,000 iron. We could spare 200, right? What's 200 iron? We'll probably produce that much by the time it's done crafting. And that should be fun. Um, so yeah, all the things happening down here should be in theory happening nice and quickly now, right? Yeah, look how much faster uh, steel produces. Isn't that cool? And that's a fully speeded upgrade, right? Yeah, that's neat. That is that is that is cool. Look at that. That is cool right there. That is a lot of steel happening all at once. So let's go build this outside, right? So um, trying to remember what we built in the past, but it should be doable. Uh, let's set up lithium somewhere in here-ish, right? So basically we want to just turn water, and I want to put it outside so we can do the solar thing, right? So maybe we line it up here-ish? Does that sound, does that sound reasonable? I think that would be cool. Yeah, I like that plan. Okay, uh, building gadget. Why do I still not have cobble works? That's also making sandstone for me. I mean, I'm just asking why that is still a thing that I did not do. All right, so let's say we want our two, ah, rats. No, bad plague, bad. I think there's some, there's some plague medicine, isn't there? There's something that cures plague. There's something that cures plague. Oh man, there's plague. I still haven't played with career bees, and I really should. Did I do? Ah! Adrian Draxwind. What's up, buddy? Hello. All the negative effects, huh? Plague, blindness, slowness. Thanks, dude. Vampire blood. Perfect. All right, back to induction smelting. Or uh, evaporation towers. Let's take a nap and get a sink and we'll be right back. Maybe you get this play go away. All right, so here we've got a standard thermal evaporation tower, right? And I'm gonna have another one. Let's put it two blocks away. Okay, and we'll set it up very similarly with here and here and the rest. This. And the minimum height seems to be three, by the way. So once I build a third layer, we should be cool. Ta-da, redstoning equals good. Sweet. Still a little plagued, I'll live, all right? So you've got heat going on, right? Now where's my solars? Because the advanced solars help with the heat. So let's, com ooh, quest complete. So if my memory serves correctly, what we want is the advanced solars in the corners. And I don't think what it matters what order they're in, but see how we got, oh, well, it doesn't matter per se what order they're in, but they might look cooler if you line them all up properly. Sweet. So your temperature's climbing quite a healthy bit. You've kind of stabilized at 329 here. But your temp's gonna go up. I don't know how high, but we'll find out. And we have a lot more of this stuff, so if we want this to be taller, we can absolutely do that. And taller is better. 
from what I recall. Gotta say, those are some pretty models. See, now he's climbing, and that's pretty cool. And I don't know how hot they'll get. I guess we'll find out. Um, and what their production speed will be. But let's get a sink. Let's get our ultimate mechanical pipe. Let's make sure that we've got the right doohickey for the job. This guy. And then you should be filling up. And you're producing five-ish millibuckets per tick. Cool. And then you're going to connect right to here. Like that. And then you will convert to liquid lithium pretty quickly. Right? And then that, boom, will make its way down here. Right? And I'll let some of that build up while we get the machines down here prepared, right? Because at this point, lithium should be pretty easy. Um, so it should be uh, liquid lithium is converted in a deconcentrator, right? Rotary condensator. Yeah, give me one of them. I don't know why I already have one. I feel like it's probably got junk in it. So if it has junk in it, I should void it. Nope, it's cool. Okay. So which side do you go into? Is it the bigger one or the smaller one is, is fluids? I guess it's the smaller one. There you go. Sweet. Oh, he's emptying. He's just a small amount at the moment. Oh, hello. There you go. Cool. Lithium. All right. Perfect. Uh, and then that needs to be chemical crystallizer. Chemical crystallizer, please. Chemical infuser, chemical crystallizer, there you are. And we'll we'll bump this up as needed. All right, so now you should be doing a good job. Cool. All right, you guys just need power now, right? So, ultimates and flux. And everybody's a winner? Cool. Now, are you pretty fast? You are pretty fast at the moment. You are just not producing nearly enough to make Dyer happy. Though your temperature is going up pretty good. Like, you are getting to some pretty high Kelvins. wonder if you'd be faster if I made you taller. Right? I mean, we've yet to hit any kind of threshold here. So I don't know how much faster we can get. Right? Like at this point, I mean, I could tick accelerator, right? I assume. I just want to see, like, at what point it reaches I'm at max temp and how much millibuckets per tick we're producing. And that would be cool. Might as well do this one too, right? Wow, he does get pretty hot. Wow, look at the water. We're actually, like, burning through water with tick accelerating, to be fair. Once the tick accelerator wears off, which should be any moment now, uh, that water should start to refill back up. Sweet. So is he stabilized now at 1.66? This is Dyer experimenting. No, he really hasn't stabilized. He's still he's still gaining temperature, which is neat. And I don't know at what point he will be done gaining temperature. One point eight one, still climbing, and we're climbing. Wow, you've got a lot of you got a lot of lithium to back there. So let's do mechanism speed and energy upgrades, which should be nice and quick right now. By the way, You already have these? Oh, you do. Okay, cool. 
See, that's what we get for using one that already had stuff in it. That's pretty spiffy. And now you should be nice and quick. Beautiful. All right. Now, uh, what we'll probably want to do is store lithium in our storage drawers. Let's do that. So lithium dust, you're going to come over here. And sure, that seems like a good enough spot for it. And let's have, let's have a healthy amount stored. So we'll do you and you. Yeah, why not? So that'll store a really large amount of lithium dust. Uh, let's import bus you or something like that. So we got uh, some channels over here, buddy. So you're a connector that could probably be moved because you're no longer technically needed. You've got some channels that I could borrow. Yes. Yes. That's what I want. All the sand falling on my head. Dyer builds in a desert, then complains about sand falling on his head. I mean, that's not the most dire thing ever. Okay, so cables please. And an import bus should be sufficient, which by the way, we should have from a few minutes ago. We just removed one from somewhere. Now, do you care what side you're getting import bus from? I'm assuming not. Or yes. Output dark blue. Uh, no, he is actually working. Cool, we just need some acceleration cards into you. To make sure that you import as fast as you can. Thanks, buddy. Don't need quite that many to be fair. But two should suffice. All right. So now are you producing enough to just like really be rocking the lithium needs? I mean, we are still, oh, it's getting cold because it's nighttime. That's okay, it shouldn't get too bad. 32 millibuckets per tick is still a reasonable, reasonably sufficient amount, right? Yeah, nighttime will have the, the, if you're not supplying it with external power for heat, nighttime will definitely make it a little bit, uh, a little bit hotter or a little bit cooler, but you know, it's still a cool way to do it. I just want to try doing it a different way, right? We'll have to give it some time and see what happens, but yeah, you're still chilling, right? Are you going to start going up now? Is that what's going to happen? Yeah. So this is not costing any energy, by the way, but we can do it for minimal R of a tick. We can speed this up even more realistically, but... Let's see, are you, are you getting a sufficient amount then? Like, are you keeping full down here, Lithium? I mean, you kind of are, right? So at this point, I would say that we're doing good because we are keeping... Mechanism pipes are being a little bit funny sometimes with their rendering and their liquid in them, but also they have a pretty large internal buffer, mechanism pipes. So I don't know if we're breaking even or what the deal is, but long story short, we are definitely not... I can't tell. I honestly can't. It, it might be just barely breaking even. I don't know. But long story short, we should have a lot of lithium going on. Yeah, we're already at 200 lithium dust. So not too shabby. Right? And, you know, if we really wanted to, we could do something like that. And that would be cool. Just curious. At what point are you going to feel like you're lessening the amount of fluid in those pipes? Because they do, the ultimate pipes transfer very quickly and have a very large internal buffer. So it takes a long time for these pipes to fill up. So I'm actually, it's hard to tell if we're, but I mean, we're tick accelerating the processing of lithium and we're finding that we're, you know, not emptying the pipes anytime soon. So that's kind of good news. Hmm. Keep an eye on it for a few minutes. Once we've got enough lithium, let's kick off induction cells. All right, looks like we got enough. So let's put away the evaporation stuff and let's get one each of an ultimate induction cell, which we should, we're missing lithium dust. How are we missing lithium dust? Maybe it's the wrong lithium dust in the recipe. So let's get some. <clears throat> and what we will do is we will grab our induction. It's the, it's the basic ones that need it. So let's do this. So yeah, see it's the wrong. Lithium dust. Cool. 
cool. That's the cells, that's the cells. Not that it matters, but you know. All right, let's try that again. One of you, good, and one of you. One provider and one cell. <clears throat> and then what we'll do is we'll start a building while that all a crafts. So there should be a ton of crafting happening right now, but it also should all be very quick, right? Like, look at all that. Look at all the crafting's happening and look at how fast it is. Loving it. Love it. Love the speed. And is everybody up here cool? Like, are we good with power transfer right now? Because I cannot imagine that we are. Yeah, we're starting, to, we're starting to impact our ability to supply power to those machines. And I wouldn't be surprised if some of them start to choke a little bit on power. But eventually, it'll all be good. Eventually, it'll all be good, right? Yeah, look at this. This guy's low on power. Look, he's choking. Called it. He would choke on power. I knew it. I knew it. Because we're, uh... What do we got back here, anyway, for power? I think we only have advanced. Yeah, we only have advanced. We should upgrade those to ultimates. But we'll do that after... Uh... After we get... Yeah, look at that. Dude, that's funny. Yeah, we are not supplying enough power for these machines. Right? Some of them will fill up, and then others will get... Yeah, but yeah, we are choking. We are definitely choking. Nice. See, I'm probably the only person who gets excited when he runs low on power. Because <laughs> it means I need to do things to get more. Alright? It means, like, alright, we gotta ramp this up. So where should we put this multi-block? Like, where do we want him to live? That's a question for the ages. What I'm thinking... I don't want to remove that just yet. Maybe back in this corner? Would that be a cool place? Yep. I think that would be a cool place. Now, we want a decent size of this, right? That's four. Let's go let's go one deeper for five. There you are. Okay. So my memory is such that we want an induction port for in. And we want an induction port for out. So that's what we're going to do here, right? We're going to have power coming in and power coming out. Um, now, the thing I don't know for sure is why all of a sudden I can't hear block breaking, but... You know, I'm probably close to my... Yeah, I hear the, the jostling of stuff, but that's okay. We're probably close to a muffler. Now, I don't specifically remember if we're allowed to have air spots in here. And that's what we're about to test. I'm hoping I can. I'm hoping I don't need to fill this entire internal capacitor compartment. I'd like to be able to say, like, we'll fill it later-ish. Ah, yeah, look at that. It lets air in there. Sweet. All right, that's good, actually. Uh, how's our crafting coming along? Slowly but surely. Slowly but surely. We have a lot of things crafting over here. Definitely not a lot of power happening, but a lot of crafting is happening. I guess, uh, do we have enough ultimates? We do. Right. That should at least supply more power. Cool. I like it. All right now we got power. Now we're good on power. Look at that, 245,000 RF a tick, I think, is what's going on there, a lot of RF. Yeah, we're draining some power. It's a little smidgen, little smidgen of power drain happening over there. Cool, I guess we'll come back when this is all done, because there's clearly a lot that needs to happen to get this complete. Look, wow, you're still not even done, are you? We're still hurting on power. Still hurting. 
All right, so no big surprise, but some of the crops have flaked out. Uh, and that does happen sometimes, right? Uh, so what has flaked? We are scheduled on advanced induction cells, right? So let's get those guys pulled out of here. Uh, and we've seen this before, right? Because it's like NBT-ish or something, but it's probably... Let's cancel both of these. I bet if we do that and that, Now, if we say ultimates, so see how he crafted the inductions? Cool. So we're getting further in the process, and I'm going to suspect that the elites will also fail because I'm going to suspect that maybe the elite induction cell is going to have the wrong NBT value, but we'll find out in a minute. Okay. Yep, see how Elite got stalled there? And I'm going to assume also that Elite is going to stall over here as well. Yep. So then we'll pull out the Elite guys. We will cancel this so that we have the, the ingredients. And then we will say Elite. Shouldn't we have Elite Energy Cubes available? Elite Energy Cube. Go on, kids, let's do it. Oh, the Elite Energy Cube itself has a bug in the crafting recipe. Okay, cool, that's why. So let's get that out as well. So that would be you. We'll put the Elite Energy Cube back. We'll make one. And then you should be ready for this. And that. OK. And that should be groovy. All right, cool. So now one of you and one of you. And it should craft everything it needs, but probably get stuck at ultimate. Cool. So did you store an elite energy cube? He did. Cool. So ultimate induction cell and ultimate energy cube are also scheduled. So those guys also are buggy. So let's get all three out of here. One ultimate and ultimate and we will fix the cube first right because we've got an elite i would think right we have to cancel it first to see it yeah we've got the elite we can put you back now we should be able to make the ultimate energy cube without a problem yes cool and then you go into here because again, the NBT datas are just a little bit funny sometimes. So this is how you fix this in your world if you're doing a similar setup, right? If you see mechanism or other mods have similar problems sometimes, uh, if you see you know, stuff not crafting like it should, it's probably some kind of NBT data conflict. So literally make the item and manually place it into the recipe rather than using JEI's shift click functionality. All right, now are you gonna store power in you? I can't tell. I don't think so. So this multi-block is cool in that each thing we put in there, the providers adjust how much RF a tick it's allowed to transfer, and the cells provide how much RF a tick it's allowed to store, right? So we'll see right now with this thing closed, he has uh, an input output of zero. He has zero in it. He, he can't do anything, right? He can't store nothing, he can't do nothing. We put these guys in here. 
and that's cool. So now if we look at our statistics, we can see it can transfer in and out 13.1 million RF a tick. So each ultimate provider adds another 13.1 million RF a tick that he's allowed to transfer, right? Um, and each ultimate energy cell can store 204 billion RF a tick. How cool is that? So now if we ask for another pair of these, we are short on osmium ingots. Okay, fair enough. So you make the ultimate induction cell. We're gonna need another provider in a minute. We don't need another provider. To be clear, you can have any combination that you want of these. But I feel like osmium is a, is a seed that we should get more of going on. Do we not have osmium seeds? I thought we had osmium seeds. I thought we had osmonium seeds. Ah, uh, we do. Cool. And are you 10 10 10s? I would hope. We can always, you know, crop. Yeah, 10 10 10s. Cool. So let's do this. Let's get mystical going. Let's get seven growth accelerators. And we should have an osmodium seed around here somewhere going on. We'll just add another one. Cool. Mr. Survivor Culture, you got my seven growth accelerators yet? They are coming, slowly but surely. There you are. Dirt, crop. Soil's invalid. Oh, it needs to be gravel, doesn't it? Is that what it needs? Does that have to be gravel? Yes, gravel with an osmium ore under it. My bad. Let's break all these. We'll do one more deeper so that we can then have our building gadget place them all again. And then we want a osmium ore. A gravel. I'm glad that it warns you, because you know I would have just left that there. There you go. Nice. And that should full grow. And that'll increase the rate at which we're producing osmium. And in the meantime, you, sir, might have finished with your induction doohickey. Not quite, but close. Back in a sec. So yeah, we're well past the wrapping up point for the episode. So let's come back next time. We will continue building this thing and start hooking it up to our power system. And then we're going to want to look at filling it. Because that's the fun part, right? Make a giant energy storage? Easy. Filling a giant energy storage? Much more fun. So I want to play with mechanism fusion and nuclear fusion. Nuclear craft fusion. And see which one I can make better. Cool? For now... Donald 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We will come back next time for now. Take it easy.